Hello everybody, welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, where our fledgling Arsarian dynasty expands again, <laughs> from duchy to king to maybe emperor. No, wait, we already did that. We're, we're back to duchy. Uh, yeah, 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 you know, things happened. Uh, but but we, we made some good progress last episode. We took some territories, we moved our capital up to Akdal, which is a nice port on the Caspian Sea, which is always nice. And, uh, unfortunately... The Empire as a whole lost Aral Il to the invasion of the Barsuki, who were backed up by the Turgai up here, who just field an inordinate number of forces. Which, uh, you know, I guess that's the Step Tribe way, with every able-bodied man being a horse archer. Um, yeah, they lost, uh, which is unfortunate. But hopefully, they won't come this way, because that would make me sad. Or hopefully we can deal with them. So, to our south here, we have the friendly, also Manichaean, Khorasan, who is now... Uh, so, he's got children now. This is good. This is good. Uh, get a marriage. I know they'll be inbred, but when has that ever been a problem? Can't do matrilineal. This will get us a, a solid alliance. Yeah, who's, uh, let's see, who's the parents here? I have no idea. Okay, it's further up the line, then. No, really, why are, why are they inbred? Who are you? Are you Arsariad? You're Arsariad, that's why. Uh, oh, okay, this is quite inbred. Hmm, that's a problem, then. <laughs> that's basically marrying... <laughs> cousin. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we won't do that. <laughs> uh, how do we... How do we get them... Maybe to our son and heir? No, that, that's that's gonna really be a problem if that happens. Uh, no. Alright, let's just continue on. Remember, guys, uh, if you're enjoying this, give it a like. We have uh, actually a surprisingly number of a surprisingly large number of views for being such a uh, small channel. I mean, okay, it's not that many, but we're in the like upper upper tens digits for most of these uh, episodes, and the the first episode of this uh, series is actually like quite big. It's almost got a thousand views, which is crazy. I wouldn't have just, I wouldn't have expected such. But, uh, you know, the likes are still quite small, because, of course, most people don't like the videos, but, or most people don't, uh, leave the likes, uh, which, yeah, it, it always feels kind of dirty to ask for them, but it, it helps the YouTube algorithm, and it helps me, so, if you are enjoying it, please do so. It'll make my baby channel grow. Now, let's get on with it. So, we need to build up Octal. So Octal actually already has a trade port. We already have camel breeders, which is good. And we've got pastures. I just want to make sure there isn't anything else here that might be more useful. It doesn't look like there is. So all of the buildings that are here sound fine to me. And we are now a diplomat. Wonderful. So we can switch to wealth focused. Great. So once I take the, um, the duchy here. Which I will do as soon as these guys are not at war. Guys, hurry up and just lose. Oh no, they're winning. Okay. Uh, hurry up and win so that I can usurp your duchy. Would you? Um, and in the meantime, yeah, I, I mostly just want to build up this territory because like, I'm going to lose most of the rest of it. Although, realistically speaking, I'm not going to lose all that much. I only have two sons. Which means it's only going to be divided up twice. Which isn't so bad. Though if I actually form a duchy, I will probably lose even more. Um, because that'll make me lose a duchy title. No, it won't. Uh, or at least not not yet. Alright, Parvana, another daughter. Perfect. Uh, again, another name I really like. Good job, game. I, I actually know this name uh, from other stuff as well. I mean, it's, a, it's an old Iranian name. But it's, very, it's a very pretty name. Yeah, you'll be Parvana. Right, she's unfortunately only intelligent. Only intelligent. Not a beautiful genius like Ranisa here, or 
a beautiful genius like Shazada here. Yeah, the ladies in this family are, uh, you know, pretty solid. Uh, Kanak is... Yeah, he's okay. He's only a genius. Kazuo, we might designate Ranisa or Shirin as our heirs. As our heir, I should say. That might be how we do things. Might be uh, switching to a uh, female ruler for our next one. Which, for somebody that has then no real vassals to worry about, that's not really a problem. It's like, yeah, the, the male vassals get all uppity when they when they're, have to serve a woman, of course. But if we don't have any of those, we don't have to deal with that crap. And if we do, you know, whatever. We'll deal with it. Title can be usurped. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm going to. Just hold your horses. Would you? Another thing that we can do is we can actually change our succession laws. Finally! Oh, no, we can't. Who are you? Arabad Sirin of Fort something or another? Get out of here. Be gone. Now I can do it. Confederate Partition. Two. Standard partition, or can I do high partition yet? Any of these? No. Nope. All right, but we will definitely do this one. Nice. Now it's not going to create titles. Um, uh, that doesn't help me with the duchy situation, though. <laughs> uh, succession titles lost on succession. I will lose the Marspanet of Sarikamish, Uzboy, and. Man, I'm going to lose these two regions down here and one of the castles under my control. All to him? Every single one of them? Oh, man. It's bloody annoying. Okay, I'll keep the... Really, so all, all I then keep is the satrapy and Mangishlak. And I guess the fort here? What's... Yeah, so we need... No, we grant this to a low noble. God, he's terrible. Ugh, uh, man. I might need to... What if I just disinherit? If I disinherit him? I mean, we'll see what traits he has. But if I disinherit him, and then I put a female ruler in, I'm still gonna have that same problem. I don't think I'm gonna be able to hold on to everything. So I'm just gonna focus on building up the capital. A call to war against the Marspanet of Thun. Yeah, why not? I'll help you. No problem. And in fact, I'm even going to send in some, some armies. Because I could use the prestige. Well, not really, but... It's not that big of a, a war, right? Send them down. I've got money. Uh, powerful vassal wants a council position. Well, he can go... Uh, he can go fuck himself. He doesn't have the stats for it, so... Uh, yeah, great, great. Become a witch. Yeah, all of my sons, all of my children should become witches. That is important. So, if we move down here with our 1,500 men. Okay, this is slightly a larger war than I thought. Um, okay, so that's the main antagonist in this war. But there's some stuff here I could, I could attack here, for example. Mental break, dark thoughts. No, I deserve to be punished for everything. Yes, indeed. And my doctor has healed me. Great. We will be learning from the mistakes of our father. <laughs> Who, uh, ignored the fact that he was, uh, wounded for quite a long time. Alright, actually, uh, tier 2 trade port to get to 0. 0.5 and plus 10% development growth. That doesn't sound too bad. How's all this coming? Three years, basically. Oh, man, she's not even helping with anything? Oh, God. No, she is. She's helping with managing domain. Great. Thought for a second that she was just like... <laughs> uh, do we want to search for secrets? I mean, yeah, I guess. Who could we search for secrets against? We could search for secrets against... Uh... This is our liege again? So our liege is here in Bukhara. Yeah, let's search for secrets in Bukhara again. Could be useful. 
I don't really need to worry about like schemes against me at the moment because basically I'm friends with everybody. I'm I'm the popular kid in school. Okay, that's a big army. Ooh. I feel like I should reinforce them, though I'm not going to get there in time. Absolutely not going to get there in time. Uh, I don't know if you're going to win this war, mate. No, we, we stay here. Yeah, you run. Okay, no, if you're running, I'm going to help. I'm going to go up there and uh, see if I can catch up and help, maybe. If not, I'm just going to disband my armies and say, you're on your own, mate. No, come up this way, you idiot. You have al- oh my god. I'm just going to throw your, throw your lives away. No, no. No, they didn't do super well. Ugh, fools. Well, I, look, I'm not... I'm not gonna fight and die for you, mate. We're, we're getting out of here. Hold on. Where, where are you retreating to? That's important. If we can catch where you're retreating to... Okay, you're retreating to the capital. I'm gonna go to the capital. We can, we can mass up our forces together, and then we'll see what happens. If we lose, we lose. But I actually do want to get some war contribution score so that I can... Oh boy, don't catch me alone. That would make me sad. Please don't. Thank you. Please don't catch me here either. Where are you going? Are we, uh, are we staying and fighting here? Oh god. No. Ah, you fools! Why didn't you just stay... Oh god, the AI is so stupid sometimes. Yeah, no. If you're gonna do that, I'm out of here. I tried, alright? I really tried. Sean Nard. That's an unfortunate name. At least by English standards. Yeah. Idiots. They just got massacred. Okay, what do we got here? I can't inv Okay, uh, since about a month back, I've been having a recurring dream in which I s discuss theology with Fortuna, the living spirit and the mother of life. Perhaps they've chosen me to spread their word and reward me with their blessings in turn. I will pray to the living spirit for health and longevity. Give me a huge health boost. For how long? For 10 years? Lose 24 stress. I will pray for the mother of life. Uh, for new life and fertility. Uh, so, nah. Fortuna for wit and luck. I would become a confident schemer. That would gain me plus one intrigue. Or I can gain piety. I cannot presume to be chosen. Now let's get this. Seems reasonable. Yeah, we're, we're out of here. I really tried to help you, but... Oh. There we go. Now we're talking. Now the, now the Empire has moved in its forces. Khosrow comes of age. Alright, what are your stats? Uh, mediocre. Mediocre! Alright. Yeah, this is how it's gonna have to be. You are not fit to rule, I'm afraid. I could ask him to join the Holy Order, because he's my primary heir. No, so if he's not my primary heir, so if I make somebody else my primary heir, I'm going to wait on that, though. I will wait on that. But that's one way to do it. I could have him join the Holy Order. Uh, the Age of Knowing. My son Kanak hovers in limbo between childhood and adulthood. I have taught him enough to understand the truth, and he is still young enough to have an open mind. Uh, he deserves to know his power, yes. Good. The witches will spread. What's... Oh my god, what is happening here? The army of Tus... Jesus, get out of here. We don't want to... I don't want to be involved in this. <laughs> this is just a mess. Alright, are you done with all your wars? No, you're losing a bunch of them, which is actually good for us. Because I can't... Or I can. Really? Really? I can attack here, huh? No. We still have the truce. Okay, I... I don't want to have the broken truce, alright? Yeah. Come to think about it, the last war was... It was last session, but it was actually not very long ago. We almost have established control. And I can get a lifestyle perk for stewardship. Wonderful. Hmm. No, we're going to actually go here. Reduce the building construction. We want to go architect. It's not a bad idea to go architect. The meritocracy... 
I don't have vassals. No, we're going to go architect. We will start with cutting cornerstones. I'll go taxman once I've done once I'm done converting the cultures of the regions that are under my control. Because before then I'm not going to be doing anything with taxes. Your silver tongue is shining today, cards. Uh my chancellor cards. What happened to your face? You look a bit I don't know, metal. I guess you were disfigured by something. And he's a giant. <laughs> Is he a giant? No, he's just disfigured and he looks giant. He's infirm. Nice. Oh, he is giant, yeah. But he's not long for this world, I think. Um, no, that wasn't Kars. That was the satrap that we just ingratiated ourselves with. To the blathering Shah Shazada Kanak. Uh, we have been burdened but with your oppressive laws for far too long. Uh, what is this? Peasant revolt? Oh my god. Come on, guys. Not a peasant uprising. Just move the army here, okay? Idiots. Filthy peasants. Don't even know what's good for them. Well, I mean, what, honestly, are you going to do with your money? I will do far better things with it. Fools. Now they're gonna pay. I wonder if there's a leader that's, uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm playing a forgiving character. I should remember that. Um, the Yawning Grave. As a child, he tells me, I used to play by the edge of the town. My elders warned me, as it used to be the cemetery. One day, I met a kindly old townsman. He warned me I shouldn't come, and pointed out the various misfortunes as evidence, such as the crows, or that time I got sick and almost died, or the thunder. But I laughed it off. The last we met, he told me, I tried to warn you when you were a child. I told you not to get lost in the wild. I sent omens and all kinds of signs. And then, you ask, I mentioned the name to one of the village elders. He frowned. Or I mentioned his name to one of the village elders. He frowned. She said that was the name of her deceased grandmother. Oh, okay. I, I missed the top part. Today I met a lesser nobleman who lives in a town nearby. He's a serious fellow, and our conversation drifts to a topic in our childhoods. Oh, are we talk to the dead? Yeah, I'll listen to the to the spirits speaking to the dead. Always listening to the warnings of the dead. All right, we win that. Foolish peasants. All right, locals pacified. Who are you? You're uh, you got good marshal. Actually, let's recruit him. He can be our uh. He. Once we convert him. Negotiate release. We convert, recruit, and gain. No, no hook. Okay. Um, he's not gonna like us. But that's okay. Wait, did we recruit him? Yeah, right. We recruited him. Now I want to make him my marshal because this guy's crap. Now we're talking. He might not like me, but that's uh, really not a problem. He'll do as he's told. All right, faction targeting me is disbanded. We're earning money again. The uh, foolish Khanate of Kimek is still at a war, so I still can't usurp their title. Again, I'm not sure if I want to usurp their title because that means I'll lose it with the partition, unless I figure out a way how to get rid of both of my sons, or at least land it on one son. Actually, I only need to get rid of one if Khanak is good enough, but. He's not a genius. So I'm probably just going to have him join a holy order, and then I'm going to designate uh, one of my daughters. Arranged marriage. Yeah, you need a you need a wife, don't you? With who? A what? The, uh, oh my god. He's doing this again. Uh, we want alliances, yeah? Let's see about some alliances here. With the Turan Empire? Yeah. I mean, they might be inbred. For him? Her, I mean? Why the hell not? It's fine. We can marry into the same family.
cool. Got some alliances. It is unfortunate that this part is no longer part of our empire, but nothing I can do about that. How are they going down here? Oh my god. Ascalini claim? Oh Jesus, they're losing up there too? No, that, that was already there, right? No, where where is... Kupathal? What the hell is going on? Who's fighting where? What's going on, people? Ah, that's happening here, huh? Man. The Empire is just beset by all kinds of wretched enemies in all directions. And then the Holy War for the Mars Planet of Toon. Yeah, they're probably going to lose this, which is unfortunate, because this is um, going to mean that the Muslims are going to take this. Although, wait. Who's the aggressor here? The attacker? Oh, you attacked. You fool. He's the one that attacked, and he's the one that, like, outmaneuvered himself. This was an absolute idiot with his army. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, alright, alright, alright. You are going for intrigue or martial? No, no, we want, um... Let's see here. What about you? You're the... Yeah, you're beautiful and... Oh, you're homosexual. Uh, whatever, that's fine. Uh, no, you're, you're going to be my... If I remove... Yeah, I'm educating you myself. Okay. Intrigue. It's okay. And then we've got um, Shirin here. You can go into diplomacy. Nice. I'll educate her myself as well. Hopefully we can get more good traits. Okay, we're winning. We're winning here. All right. We've taken Tun. Yeah, but these armies are just an endless nightmare. I need to save my money. I know I'm sitting on like way too much money, but <laughs> actually, I, I really don't need to save my money. What I will do is build another castle here. So I'm gonna keep this territory. Let's let's at least make it strong, huh? Build a shit ton of castles. I've got the money for it. I'll save the money now until I can um, usurp the duchy, and then I'm going to figure out what to do about the inheritance. Because by then, um, my other son should be fully grown. So we'll see what his stats are. And chances are I'm going to um, designate one of my daughters as my heir, and send both my sons off to the Holy Order. <laughs> or have them be like barons. Or, nah, maybe I'll just keep the baronies. That sounds like a better idea. Though I don't know if sending them off to the Holy Order actually um, removes them from the inheritance. I, want to, I would assume it does. It's the, I, I assume it would be like the same thing as sending off a, uh, you know, a daughter to a nunnery, right? Although, typically speaking, they weren't concerned about inheritance when it came to... Uh, or inheriting titles when it came to uh, women in most dynasties like that. Because, yeah, inequality. But that's just how it was back then. And, you know, sort of is still today. In a lot of places and cases. All right, all right. Kimek. What's our situation here? I, I don't want to attack them now. Um, also, because that would create some problems with usurping their duchy, but they're, again, at war. I said I didn't want to attack them because I didn't want to um, have to deal with, like, waiting again while they're at war to form this duchy, but at the same time, like, they're just at war with new people, so. <sighs> Why not, huh? Let's just attack them. Let's uh, have our armies levy up from here this time. And raise the legions. Legions may be an overstatement, but, you know, it's something. Do we want to call in allies? And call in some house members? Let's just get the ones that are close by. Let's get the Shah and Shah in on this business, huh? Yeah. And, uh, I mean, Kotan's pretty far away. Fergana's not so far. Why don't you help out here? And, uh... Kotan, yeah. 
Yeah, you guys come help me. Yeah, good job, guys. Sweet deal. My dynasty is powerful. Oh yeah, I wanted to do something last session. Um, no, I want to click on my territory. We should actually... Romance. Ah, first she needs to become a witch. Can't believe we weren't doing this already. Once she's a witch, then we'll romance her. Shirin Arsariad is patient. Okay, this is good. That is a good trait. And she's going into diplomacy. Yeah, I've married off none of my daughters because I want to keep them close and see like who is going to be viable as an heir. Nice, we've converted the county. Is there anywhere else to convert? Yes. How are we doing here? Any armies coming to threaten us? Not really. So if we can just take and hold this, I'll be happy. Culture has discovered bailiffs. What does that mean? Bailiffs. Gives us uh, plus one domain limit. All right. Just in general, that's that's good. What are we on next? I mean, I have no control over this anymore, so I'm just letting the, the Shahan Shah do his thing. All right, he's going for horseshoes. Let's make our cavalry better. Oh, God, just make me want the Persian cataphracts even more. Okay, we get it, all right? I want the cataphracts, but I can't have them. Not yet. It will be done. So I, I, I really quickly want to look at um, what the like next stage of stuff is. See if there's any more like specific. Uh... Huh. Not available to the Sogdians. Okay, so these are um, not available to the Sogdians. Not available to the Sogdians. <laughs> Nothing's available to the Sogdians. Eh, boring. Um. High medieval? Oh, that's what I was just on. Alright, late medieval, huh? What about anything here? We probably can't get Swati and Swordsman or any of this stuff. Deccan unity. Deccan was such a cool region. Very, very interesting. I think I mentioned it already, the uh, the story of Malik Ambar, the like African slave turned sultan in the Deccan who held off the Mughal Empire. Like, crazy, crazy story. Very cool. Uh, Ranisa, yeah. We're gonna hone all of their traditions. I don't care how much stress I take. So I can always just whip myself. Oh, the pain. The sweet, sweet pain. Brace Lanesh. Alright, stewardship perk. Professional workforce. Decreased building time. Sounds good to me. I saw out of the corner of my eye an army. Alright, not much that I need to worry about. Alright. They band together, maybe. But I don't think they're on the same side. Oh my lord, what the hell? Okay, that, that I need to worry about. Oh, God, this is the, uh... No, really, what what is this? Why is, like, Jerusalem? Who are you fighting, mate? Are you fighting the Abbasids? The Kazakhs? No, you're not fighting the Abbasids. Why are the Abbasids involved? Maybe they're, like, allies of this? Damn. Yeah, we don't want to get caught up in any of that stuff. So we're just going to take this here. I'm not moving up there. If somebody else takes it, it's fine. So they're just trying to take Ustjurt. No, that's me trying to take Ustjurt. Welcome to the communion, sister. Yes. Wonderful. Now I can romance her. I will write her a... Uh, actually... Let's see, I will sing her a love ballad. I'm sure I can do that. I'm a master diplomat. All diplomats can sing love ballads, can't they? We've got some prisoners. One prisoner to be specific. Yeah, give me ten gold for her, no problem. It's an old lady. What good is she gonna do in the war? Yeah, tell that to, like, the Queen of Thorns in uh, Game of Thrones. Well, yeah, what good is she gonna do in a war? Well, <laughs> I mean, ultimately it didn't go out, didn't work out too well for her in, in the show. 
Can't remember what happened to her in the books, but we're not going to talk about the show. And to be perfectly honest, I'm not terribly interested in talking about the books either. Uh, all right, we have a we have an annoying Akbad causing problems. Um, I could challenge him to a duel. There's a good chance that I'll lose. I can, yeah, you know what? I'm going to food poison him. Great. Wait, did he die? What? Why did he just lose all? Oh, because he's sick. Okay. <laughs> ah, interesting. You change clothing when you're sick. All right. Oh, I get an intrigue lifestyle perk. Cool. Um, the fabricate hook scheme could be nice. I don't want more fertility at this point. I don't want the seduction scheme. Dark insights. I'm probably not going to be torturing people. Let's do this. Always fabricate hooks, and we can also combine that with uh, golden obligations at some point. Get a whole lot of money. So fabricating hooks makes people not like you so much. Shazade has come of age. Wonderful. What is her stats? All right, not so great. All right, we can marry her off then. Um, certainly not to anybody like super old though. Yeah, it might be inbred. Matrilineal? Hmm. Oh, well then. Yeah, let's do it. Gotta keep the blood pure, after all. <laughs> yeah. But hey, she stays here, we get an alliance, and we, you know, if if all else fails and all the other all of his other children die, we may even end up inheriting the throne because of that. Which would be great. It probably won't happen, but... Hey, we got our armies. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm not interested in going up there. I will keep my army raised. Because there's like 4,000 of them. Just kind of lurking. We've discovered horseshoes. Nice. Uh, what, do I need to poison him again? Like, is this going to kill him? I mean, if he dies, let's... Let me get another Intrigue Lifestyle perk. This is great. Um, find Secrets Progress Speed Increased. Disrupt Schemes Effectiveness plus 50%. Murder scheme power plus 30%. Actually, actually, I'm not going to be killing people. But finding secrets, sure. Kanak the second is not like Kanak the first. No, we, we will be avoiding killing people <laughs> when, when possible. <laughs> uh, unlike Kanak the first, who uh, may have killed a lot of people. Chief Tisu... Uh, okay. Yeah, we got a uh, another chieftain joining the war here. All right, no, let's actually move our forces out and retreat them back to uh, Mangishlak. Or Aktau, I should say. So that they can sit here. Yeah, there's another ally has joined the war, but it's fine. As long as we hold this, we'll be okay. Oh my god, how many people do I have to poison for this? Jesus, and I don't want to poison him. He's my brother-in-law. I definitely don't want to duel him. I know. No, I'm not going to be... Yeah, I guess I'll poison him. Okay. We're getting tons of <laughs> intrigue lifestyle perks. <laughs> this, though, this is great. <laughs> we'll get Court of Shadows. <laughs> Guys, can we not all stack on top of each other? Alright, that's going to cause attrition. As soon as supplies run out. Jesus. Where'd their armies go? Do I dare? No, we don't want to embark. It's money that I don't want to spend. I know I can afford it, but I'm a miserly bastard, all right? An intruder! My songbird is in danger! Wonderful. I will never let you get into harm's way again. Nice. 350 prestige, and I have successfully romanced my wife. Wonderful. We will have a long and happy life. All right, let's uh, increase control in uh, Mangishlak. Let's convert the culture here. You're already converting the religion there. Great. You're still busy finding secrets and not really finding any, unfortunately. Uh, any uh, upgrades here? Yeah, my son can be my eye almoner. Yeah, you get out of there. All right. And any, uh, yeah, we can... My son can be the uh, master of the horse. Sounds good. 
What's his, uh... No, his marshal isn't very good. Alright, let me keep that as is. We have a solid steward. Very solid steward. Our bishop's quite good. Our... Ooh. Yeah, no, we don't want to... No, we keep him. It's fine. Our diplomacy's good enough. Just by ourselves. Here we go. We have a, now a very good courtier here. Espionage lovers. Yeah. Um, wow, first day on the job, she's already finding stuff. So, Marzaban, huh? That's useful to know. So we can uh, blackmail him. Cool. I have a hook on him. Where are their armies? Alright, if they're going that way, I'm going this way. Oh man, my wife's pregnant again. Defeat! Uh, yeah, okay. They lost that war. That's fine. Yeah, you, uh... You're kind of foolish with your uh, military deployments there. Otherwise, you could have won that pretty easily, I think. But no, you had to YOLO on ahead and get your entire army wiped while I was busy trying to get to you so that I could reinforce you where we could have had a pretty solid chance at winning. Fools. Alright, uh, a merchant has sent me samples of seeds. Plants, she claims, are good for the health and mind. I must admit, I have little experience in nurturing plants, but how hard could it be? I could sell them, or I could become an herbalist. It's only a 23% chance of becoming an herbalist, but that seems like it could be good. Otherwise, I'll get plus one learning for one year. All for 30 gold? Uh, nah, I'm gonna try and start a private garden. That sounds fun. No, I failed, but hey, at least I learned something out of it. I have a little private garden here in my house. All kinds of pointy, spiky plants, mostly cacti and uh, aloes and other aloe-like things. Technically, it's not mine. Technically, it's my girlfriend's, but I like them as well. And we've we've got some uh, we've got some solar plants too. They're the ones that like. You don't plant in soil, they just sit there and you just spray them with uh, mist every now and then. They do fine. We called it Aten. <laughs> Alright, let's win this war. Take this territory. Just surrender, okay? It's not hard. You're gonna lose. You got nothing against me. I've got four armies, each of which is bigger than what you can muster. Right, uh, and that. <laughs> nearby like you can't win just surrender spare everybody the suffering my son oh god we have another son he's only intelligent All right, he's definitely going to the holy order uh shafno shak nah we will name him farad I like that name Right, what's the situation with my daughters? Um, you, who are you being raised by? Shirin. I, I, I definitely want her to... Um, no, I was supposed to raise her myself. I, I need to be raising her myself. And you are being raised by me, correct? Correct. Hopefully one of them will turn out to be uh, like the super children. Wait, I just clicked away from myself. And then there's Parvana. Yeah, Parvana is... Not likely to be, uh... I could probably already safely betroth her to someone. Certainly not to a 30-something-year-old. Right, uh, okay. With, uh, Khorasan? Yeah, they're of the same bloodline. I know that hasn't stopped me with some other cases, but... Um, whoops. Fine. Yeah, we do this. Um, there's got to be some other places. Some other regions. What is this? Is this a, uh, no, this is just a petty kingdom. This is... It's a satrapy. Vijaya satrapy. 
I mean, it's it's okay. We got some still got some prestige. We'll get an alliance. The uh, I don't know if that's worth it. I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait. We'll see what comes up later. Do I need to take your goddamn capital? Because I will. Man. Sometimes I wish the enemies would just surrender when they, like, know that there's no way to be... to win. When there's just overwhelming odds. And that's, that's what I do whenever, like... I'm in a bad situation. Alright, we can ransom her for 50. That sounds good. Do I have any more? No, no more prisoners. That's alright. How are we doing? Taking the capital, slowly but surely. And we'll have this territory as well. I will have uh, two separate duchies. Um, and I'm going to need to figure out what to do with my sons. Uh, actually, him. Let's see if this actually works. Ask to join Holy Order. He does not have the martial education trait. Ah, god damn it. Alright, then I have to... Um, I have to disinherit him. Which I'll do. It's gonna cost 300. No, it's gonna cost 150 legacy. That's fine. We're getting a ton of legacy now. Ah, I deserve to be punished for everything. Yes. Let's whip myself. It's fine. And we immediately lose the wounded trait. I like that. What the hell is going on here? Can unlock a new lifestyle perk. Great! Centralization. Yes. Need some more development growth in my realm capital. Sounds good to me. How's our castle coming? Four months left. Nice. Should have this pretty fast. Then we'll win. Disappointment. I had a dream last night that the great noose came by to tell me I was a disappointment to the heavens. I woke up perturbed, wondering if that was truly the case. I mean, probably. I am a witch. Can imagine the heavens being disappointed in me. Ah, uh, hi. How's it going? What uh, what brings you about these parts? You uh, you here to stay, or uh, you just passing through? Oh my lord, they're they're spreading out. Who are you? What are you? When are you? Why are you? Dear Lord, this is now a problem, but we win. Right when it was becoming a problem. Ha! Get out of here, wretched mongrels. Return back to your lands. Sweet. That was good. Very good timing. All right, I keep this territory. We've got trading posts here. That's pretty nice. Camelry, townhouses. Watchtowers and homesteads. Nice. That actually got all the good terrain. Uh, yeah, nothing more than I'd rather have here, so sweet. This place is already built up, and it's mine. And we can build another castle here, too, eventually. But I now control the duchy. All right. I can add laws here. No. That, uh, so I will make this my primary title. Wait. I am doing pretty okay. Transcaspiana. Also, it's just a cool name. Now we can switch this. It'll cost prestige and money. Christ on a bicycle. That's expensive. Alright, fine. Alright, we've got about 20 minutes left for the episode. Something like that. So let's uh, let's see here. We're still converting. Oh my God! Where's my steward? What happened to my steward? Did you die? You're my tax collector now. No, you, you can become my steward now, mate. Kuzral. And uh, who's gonna be my tax collector? My sister. She can be my tax collector. All right. You are converting culture. Three years left. We've almost finished converting religion, and seven months left for exerting control over the area. It's good to have the peasant character. Controlling the peasants. I feel like he would do a good job at that. The former peasant revolt leader. He would be able to be a nice mediator between uh, 
between the nobles and the peasants. Yeah, we've we've eaten away at Kimek here pretty well. So we expand north. Need to figure out how to get Khorasan at some point. Like what about what about you? I know having like an inbred dynasty isn't the greatest of ideas, but No, not her. You though. Can we do this matrilineally? No, it's not going to happen. Uh, but we need to reclaim Khorasan somehow. At some point. Otherwise they're going to get picked apart by the Muslims. The Age of Knowing. Yes. Become a witch. Good. Good. I hope she gets a really solid education trait. Then she will become the new satrap. Upon my demise. But I'm 41 years old and in quite good health. I'm stressed, though. But, eh, we can whip ourselves a bit. Nice. Reduce that stress a bit. Very good. We're doing A-OK. -okay. We've taken more land. We're now waiting for uh, money so that I can switch the Ducal building, because Hall of the Pillager only affects raiding. <coughs> I took Shirin out playing with the bow, and to my surprise, she ran into a wounded doe. She had not hesitated in the slightest to bring it down. Greatness awaits you, Shirin. She'll become ambitious. I mean, nothing wrong with that. Become ambitious. Hell yeah. It's a good trait. Call to war! Oh my god. What is this? Ally? Uh, Andijan Satrapy? Yeah, I guess. We'll fight. Oh, this is against the Oguz. Against Su in Sutkend. Where the hell is Sutkend? Right, who the hell are we at war with? Is that up here? No, it's in here. What? I'm confused. Do I help fight this? I think I'm gonna help fight this. We want the prestige. Hey, I got two armies now. Wow. Let's move that way. Why do you embark? You fools. Go that way. I know it's slower. Right, then you wait. You wait. Your hook on SD has expired. Whatever. Prisoners can be ransomed. Uh, I'm gonna wait. That's good money. And I'm gonna wait there too. Yeah, I have your kids. Uh, now we lose money again. Endless wars! Jesus. But we gotta help out some ally. This is uh, the Antijan Satrapy, and he's fighting against another Satrap. Oh my god, this is, it's an internal war. I don't know if I want to get involved in an internal war, actually. No. Screw that. I'm not helping you. You know, you may be an ally of mine, but... I don't care about this, like, internal uh, scheming within the Empire. No, no. You guys sort out your own problems. Don't come here. Please don't come here. I will regret they're coming here. You know what? Fine, I'll help. Okay, I have a friend. Who are you? Cousin. Damn. You, uh... Are you in my court? You better be in my court. You have good stats. Are you my marshal? No, you're not my marshal. Who are you? Who are you and why aren't you my master of horse? You're not in my court. No. It's in Captain Iskandar's court in Zirku. Of course, it says it right there. If I just fucking read something for once, that'd be just swell. Ah, they're going up that way, huh? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna chase them. Fine. You can get some prestige. Defeating an enemy army. We can get our commanders to uh, get some experience as peasant leader. Ranisa comes of age. All right, what are you? Ah, uh, I mean, your stats are still quite good. Let's be real here. I'm gonna wait though. I'm not gonna marry her yet. I'm not gonna marry her off yet, I should say. I'm definitely not gonna marry her either. <laughs> that would be wrong. And then anyways, I don't think she'll mind not being married. She's homosexual after all, so she probably doesn't want to get married to some dude. Alas, there is no uh, gay marriage in the... Or at least it's not legal in this government. 
All right. Unfortunately, our uh, one of our knights got uh, got dead. Another one got maimed. Was this worth it? Not really. Ah, our counselor died. That was our. Oh, that was our marshal. That was our general. God damn it! Are you kidding me? All right, Cosro. Actually, my player heir. Yes, perfect. Because if he dies, that's actually not a huge problem for me. Um. Captured an enemy combatant. You are. All right. Why don't we, uh... No, I'm not going to release you just yet. You are a knight. All right, we won that fight. Let's, uh, actually chase this army down. See where they're, see where they're heading off to. And fight them wherever they are. I mean, since we're here, I guess we might as well help in this war, huh? Pay 30 gold? Sure. No problem. What about you? Want to pay 10 gold for a ransom? Sure. Could use the gold. 50 gold? Absolutely. Get all that. Need to fund my wars. Well, they're not my wars, but... Some of them have been my wars. This one is not. Okay. Um, can we do this yet? Switch it out? We can. Great. Wonderful. What are we going to get? Um, it has to be something we can afford. We could get a local parliament. Some prestige per month. Uh, we could, no, we can't get the library. We could get the caravanserai again. I mean, that, that's pretty good. Yeah, let's do it. Get another caravanserai. Build tons of them all over the place. They get good money. They're still running. No, they're going up here now, into the mountains. Actually, I don't know about chasing them up into the mountains, but if they want to come down here, I'll fight them here. In fact, I think I will fight them here. Good. We'll beat them again. Cool. We wounded. Nice. We won that. Solid victory. Let's move on their capital. Basically won this war for you, mate. Faction created against me, huh? We want lower county control. We can issue an ultimatum in 48 months. Alright, that's a peasant revolt. Peasants will get nothing. Alright. So here, we get golden obligations. It's good to have finally somebody by my side. We now summon it. Yeah, my mother. Uh, okay. Yeah, we need a... Uh, my son can lead this army. He's going to join the Holy Order anyways. Uh, now, I am going to find a court where they don't like me. You don't like me so much. I am going to... Um, fabricate hook against you. Now, there's a very... It's only 64% chance of successfully doing it. I'm gonna do it anyways. I wanna hook on him. So I can extort him for money. We will do some extortion. It's all fair game. Spouse, tourney day. The sun is shining and the peasants are milling about the tourney hosted by my wife. All my aswar cheer as Satrap Ben announces the tournament in their honor. And for once, I get to simply sit and watch. I'm not going to spend... An or I am not going to spend an entire uh, tourney day stuck to a throne, however. All right, I too cheer my Aswar. Hell yeah. Uh, this day is in your honor, my dear. No, no. She, she, she put it in their honor. We're going to we're gonna have it be in their honor. Having my knights like me is never a bad thing. All right, now I can demand payments. Cool. We've got a couple of uh, random Marzabans. Wonderful. They're not even part of my court, so the, I really lose nothing. All right, I'm going to wait on that one. But you guys, you guys can pay me. And uh, you don't have any money, so we're not going to worry about that. I can negotiate alliances. This is all good. Hell yeah. Give me all those alliances. Don't mind me, I'm just going to blackmail you later, but... <laughs> I know I have few knights. That's, that's okay. Alright, we should win this war probably even before we have to finish this siege. 
All right, they're gonna go deal with them up in the mountains. That's good. I don't want to go up into the mountains because I'll suffer a ton of attrition. Fabricate hook. Um, does he have any particular weak spots we know about? Can become a, more likely to be friends with my own spy master. That sounds like a great idea. Being friends with my spy master is never a bad thing. All right, we win. Wonderful. Let's disband the army. Cool. Uh, what's the situation here? Are all my territories converted? They are not. Let's convert Ustjurt. Uh, culture is still gone, and we want to reestablish control down here. That should only take 22 months. Nice. All right. What's the time frame at? We're at 55 minutes. We can do a teeny tiny bit more development. We got the money for some development after all, so. Uh, let's build a thing here. What's it going to be? A trade port. Hell yeah. Me all those trade ports. With more money. We're slowly, slowly but surely rebuilding up a realm for ourselves. <laughs> this time I'm going to be more careful with who I appoint into positions. And how I conquer things. Let's see it done. I will gain a strong hook. Oh, that's expensive. Does it just cost that much? No, there's no reason we shouldn't be friends instead. Does this end the scheme? No, we're still going. Alright. Demanding payments. What do we got? 50? Yeah, give me that. 50? You can't afford. Unfortunate, you also can't afford the full amount. So I'm going to just make sure that you can afford the full amount. You want what? Will not accept. Why not? But I I don't get it. Why did it even come up? But they were married. <laughs> they are. Um. Okay. They are just married. All right. Well, it's a matrilineal marriage, which is great. Um, Granissa. Yeah, I know you can, but I'm saving you. Lesson on wisdom. No, no, no. We, we, keep, her, we keep her learning. All right? Oh, she's ill. Hell no. Not allowed. You're not allowed to be sick. He's a standard treatment. Shirin is undergoing treatment. Get better. You must live. She has amazing stats. Holy crap. She's not even like... She's feeling much better now. Wonderful. Damn. Yeah. Uh, Alright. Yeah, we, we have to disinherit him as well. Who, uh, what's your focus here? Why don't you go into stewardship? Sounds good. And somebody can educate you. Um, somebody with good stewardship, preferably. I mean, that's, that is myself, but actually I'm gonna let, uh, my sister do it. Because I did disinherit him. It's basically down to, uh, to either Kazro here, but in all likelihood, I'm going to give the throne to, uh, depending on what her um, thing is, I'm probably going to give it to, uh, Ren no, not Renisa, to uh, Shirin. Where the hell is Shirin? Not really, where the hell is Shirin? Okay. I mean, I'd be, I'd be worried there. To the benign Kanak. My, yeah, okay. Um, and we can gain a strong hook on Jiu Jing. Why? No, let's be friends instead. You're, you're like a nobody. Lively livestock. An additional payment. In recent trade, I can find myself in possession of a large herd of cattle. Let's make it an even larger herd of cattle. Wonderful. Development growth. Always good. The trade port is under construction. That is being converted. 
Again, I'm mostly just focusing on my primary holding, and then depending on how it goes with uh, this whole succession stuff, I might be able to start focusing on some of my other holdings. Because I'm still likely going to lose control of most of those on succession. Though, so, it's probably less now, huh? Oh, now, now I lose control of nothing. Yeah. He will be in charge of everything. But that being said, I may donate him to the Holy Order. <laughs> That's what we're going to call it. <laughs> Cut in up there. Eh. Yeah, we control the, or we at least control a significant part of the Caspian Sea, which is good. It'd be cool if we got to control the entire thing, just like set up a, uh, our own little thing up here. Let the let the Turan do the Turan business over here. Corrupt tax collector, huh? Oh, you. Uh, I've noticed various inconsistencies and omissions in the tax. Yeah, right. Um, assume direct control. That sounds good. Execute the lot. No, we're going to assume direct control. We'll increase the control level by 20, which is solid. That'll help with uh, this plan, right? Yeah. Brought that down to eight months. Do we have any more cultures that need converting? Right here, yes. And uh, religion, three years left. What are we doing here? This is all fine. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Pretty good, considering the, uh, the setbacks we endured. Uh, what about... He's still a Muslim. Damn. We needed to take... Uh, it'd be cool if we could take Khorezm at some point. Because, like... There's a capital here, right? Like a, a good city that could act as a capital? I would assume. No, oh, it doesn't look like there's anything, like, super big. The benevolent Kanak. See it done? How much will this cost? 90 gold? Yeah, there's a hook on her. No, for... This finding secrets thing, I mean, it's good for actually increasing personal opinions at that, but it seems like using the finding secrets to get hooks so that you can uh, blackmail them for money is not actually efficient because it costs more money to get the hooks. But it's efficient for other stuff, or it's good for other stuff, like if you want to somehow take control of it for some other reason. Um, but this guy actually... Once you're done with that, it might be prudent to fabricate a claim on his territory. Was taking Khorezm. Might be handy. Right? I mean, he, first off, he's a Muslim. So we need to establish total Manichaean control over these regions. So yeah, they're still Ashari. Admittedly, we don't want to do a holy war against them, because we don't want to get them involved. <laughs> Not yet. But hey, look at that. Manichaeanism is doing pretty swell. It all started with Khosrow the First. He's done pretty well for himself. Gotta say, what other religions are doing well? Uh, the Osatru are everywhere. <laughs> the the uh, Mu'aladi Muslims are basically just, like, gobbling up Europe. But uh, that's no concern of mine. Taltos just... I have no idea what that religion is. It's an Uralic faith. Alright. It's like, it's all over the place in here. And of course we have Sweden down here. Is this Sweden? No, it's not Sweden. It's just some other territories. Ah, Sweden's gone. <laughs> it's dissolved. Alright, fair enough. Alright, uh, I think this is a good place to call the session. And, um, remember guys, like the video if you've enjoyed it. And uh, we will continue on and see what we can accomplish with our uh, our new little satrapy. Soon to be multiple satrapies. Actually, we already have multiple satrapies. Soon to possibly be another Shadam. We'll see about that, though. All right. I will catch you all later. Have a good one.